Initiation the journey of innerness. Initiation is an altogether different journey. It is not prayer with sadness or seriousness. It is not prayer as a ritual or a formality. Instant initiation is prayer as playfulness. It is prayer as cheerfulness. The birds chirping at dawn is prayer. They are not Christians, Hindus or Muslims, Jews, Buddhists or anything else. They do nothing of church, temple and the mosque. Also they have never heard of scriptures. Certainly their singing is prayer. The wind passing through the pine trees is prayer. Although it knows nothing of prayer, yet still it is prayerful. The prayer is spread all over the space and the cosmos. The stars, the trees and the oceans are all prayerful. Except for man, the whole existence is always in a state of prayer. Only man needs to move towards it consciously, for man is the only conscious being. Hence man has a choice. He can fall out of the natural flow of existence or he can become part of it. No other animal has that freedom. The birds in the morning are not singing out of their own choice. They are simply singing instinctively. The trees are prayerful and the mountains are prayerful too but their prayer is just a natural phenomenon, no choice of their own. Man's dignity is that he can choose to be prayerful or not to be prayerful. Man is always at the crossroad. Each step and there is a choice. Each step and you can go wrong or right when sadness and cheerfulness confront you always choose cheerfulness always choose to be happy when seriousness and playfulness confront you always choose playfulness and remember we become whatsoever we choose it is a simple question of your choice Always choose that which helps to expand your consciousness. Always choose that which helps to expand your consciousness. It does not matter whether it is right or wrong in the eyes of the society. As long as it helps to expand your consciousness, that is the way. A Sufi mystic was dying, I have heard. His disciples gathered and said, One thing we always wanted to ask, but we could never gather courage to ask. And now if we do not ask now, we will never be able to ask, because you will be leaving the body. So now whatsoever you think of us as fools or otherwise, but we have to ask the question, how did you manage your whole life because we have never seen you serious, sad or unhappy? You have always been blissful. How did you manage because it is impossible to be so blissful day in and day out? Indeed, man thinks it is so almost impossible to be blissful day in and day out. The old man laughed and said, Early in the morning I discovered that it is a question of choice. So this has become my daily routine. Every morning, including this, the first thing before I open my eyes, I think now a new day is going to be there. 
what I want. Do I want to be happy or unhappy? And I always choose happiness. When you choose happiness, you are choosing prayerfulness, you are choosing blissfulness, you are choosing happiness. If you know that it is a question of your choice, you are bound to choose happiness always. But by nature man choose to be unhappy always. It is your choice. People think that we are victims. It is wrong. Christian thinks, belief that man is born in sin. This is wrong. We are neither sinners, nor born in sin, nor we are victims. It is not that situations go on dragging us into happiness or unhappiness. Certainly we are not just at the mercy of the blind forces. Certainly we are not just at the mercy of the blind forces. Every moment we are choosing. Maybe our choice is unconscious. We may not be consciously choosing, but choice is always there. From this moment start becoming aware of it and you will be surprised. Sometimes in the middle of your sadness, suddenly the clouds disperse and the sun shines again in its full glory. Sometimes in the middle of your sadness, suddenly the clouds of sadness, misery and despondency disperse and the sun of blissfulness shines again in its full glory. Suddenly you see the point that you have chosen to be sad and there is no need to be sad. Life is such a beautiful gift that one should not waste a single moment in sadness, anger, jealousy, hate, possessiveness and misery. One should dance one's way to God. One should dance one's way to God. One should laugh one's way to God. One should sing one's way to God. Drop all sadness and seriousness too. And do not ask how to drop them. It is a strategy of the mind to go on keeping them. It is a way of postponement. How is the way of postponement? How to control anger? How to drop misery? How to do this? How to do that? All these are ways of postponement. Simply drop misery. Do not linger on or postpone it, just say goodbye to it and do not look back and you will be surprised that it is so simple, it is so natural to be blissful, it is unnatural to be miserable, it is really a very difficult job to be miserable but people are so skillful so intelligent at being miserable that they are always miserable, despondent and as if these things are our nature. They have become great artists of misery. If there is nothing to be miserable about, they will invent something to be miserable. Choose blissfulness, choose playfulness, and then your bliss, your playfulness will become your prayer, will become your meditation.